It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, the 21st of April. I'm Michael Graff. We've got a hot weekend ahead, but a cooling trend coming in next week. Let's talk about it as we look outside this morning here at 620 a.m. We've got 64 degrees to start the day at Sky Harbor. Dew point at 26, humidity 24%. The winds are calm. The barometer is rising. Temperatures out there this morning. Few 50s on the board once again, but most of us are in the low and middle 60s in the urban core. Satellite shows clear skies across the state right now. On the watch warning map, we have a high pollution advisory again issued by the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality. We've got some wind across the river later today. Elsewhere in the country, some severe thunderstorm watches. Parts of North Texas and Oklahoma to include Oklahoma City. Flood watches in many of those same spots. Dense fog advisories, sections of South Alabama and the western panhandle of Florida and much of North Dakota. Active weather today. We've got a risk of severe storms extending from North Texas all the way to the mid-Atlantic coast. The enhanced risk of severe weather around Ardmore, Oklahoma and Paris, Texas. The standard slight risk includes places like Fort Smith, Fayetteville, Arkansas, Little Rock and Oklahoma City, as well as Dallas, Fort Worth. And I have to show you this. This is just something kind of different and interesting. Uh, a little early in the year for this, but here we go. Uh, tropical season heating up. This is Tropical Storm Arlene, the first of the year already. Way out there in the North Atlantic. Look at that. It's up there around 40 degrees north, moving west at 31 miles per hour. Now, that's going to dissipate as it runs into a strong trough out in the North Atlantic. But I don't think I've ever seen a tropical storm develop this early and that far north in the Atlantic. Very strange. Speaking of strange, let's see if we can find anything unusual with our weather as we take a look at the models and see what's going on. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 5 o'clock Mountain Standard Time today. High pressure building in across the southwest states for the weekend. Temperatures on their way up. Mostly sunny skies today. Highs will be in the low and middle 90s. With a little system passing well to our east, maybe some breezes picking up this afternoon. West winds around 15 miles per hour late this afternoon. Tonight, we're clear and mild, lows in the 60s, and then tomorrow, mostly sunny once again, highs mid and upper 90s. We're mostly sunny on Sunday, and this will be the warmest day of the period. High temperatures here in the valley, upper 90s. The GFS has us at 98, the Ensemble at 99. So we'll be very close to the century mark. Many of the warmest deserts around Yuma, heading toward Blythe, Imperial, and Southern California you will surpass the 100 degree threshold. On Monday, we'll cool it off just a little bit as high pressure begins to weaken. High temperatures back toward the mid 90s. We'll be in the upper 80s to low 90s on Tuesday, the sky partly cloudy. On Wednesday, a trough digging into the Intermountain West. Looks like the GFS is really uh, deepening this system, much more so than previous runs. So showers and thunderstorms north of Arizona and a pretty good surface low there near Las Vegas, if this is right. Then it gets interesting. Here's Thursday. We've got a deep surface low, under 1,000 millibars, right almost on top of us. And with it, just enough moisture could be advected in here for a small chance of showers or thunderstorms. Uh, the latest GFS actually is showing a chance of some measurable rain in here late Thursday. Now, we haven't seen this on any of the previous runs, and this will likely be gone by tomorrow or by later today on, on future runs, but we will see. We'll keep an eye on this. Nevertheless, the idea of a deep trough developing across the interior west with the base here over Arizona, and that will help cool us off. We'll have high temperatures falling back into the lower and mid 80s. In fact, the latest GFS as we go out toward a week from today, this is Friday, the 28th of April. It's showing a high of just 78 here next Friday. I don't think it's going to get quite that cool, but if we look here, the pattern definitely becoming much more meridional. So a high amplitude pattern and temperatures would be much lower if this is right. Here's Saturday, the 29th of April. And again, a 588 ridge off the West Coast and a 588 ridge over the East. So high temperatures cooler still. Highs lower to mid 80s here. And then this is the end of the forecast period, the last day of the month, Sunday the 30th. Looks like deep low over the northern Plains states, warm for the east coast, and temperatures recovering here in the southwest states as well, back toward the 90-degree mark. 
Looking at temperatures through the period off the GFS Ensemble, there's our 99 on Sunday. And could we see our first 100 degree day of the season there? Yes, that's possible. And even if we don't, you know it's coming here in the next few weeks. And that'll do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video back here Monday morning. Have yourselves a safe weekend. Stay cool out there. And we'll see you next week.